Hey guys, it's Jeremy here on Metal Music Meltdown back with another video. We'd have for today, guys, is another album review. Today we're going to be checking out the third studio album from the Mighty Ancients. Their album is entitled uh, Beyond the Reach of the Sun. It's released on Season of Mest Records. Just dropped on August the 30th, so like yesterday. Uh, 10 tracks in total, 58 minutes in length. Like I said, third studio album. My introduction to the band was on their last record on 2016. Uh, which was called Voice of the Void. I fucking fell in love with that album right away. It's one of, one of my all-time favorite albums. And I was really excited for this new album. I've been waiting for it to come out for many months. And uh, it's killer. If you're wondering if it was worth the eight, eight year wait, guys, fuck yes it was. This album kicks a lot of ass. 10 tracks, all bangers. No filler at all. Uh, so let's jump right in, guys. Um, starting with the artwork. One of my favorite artworks of the year, too. Love the colors. Love the kind of space me spacey cosmic kind of vibe to it. Really suits the music perfectly. Uh, listening to this album, you can kind of hear where they draw their influences from. I hear a lot of Opeth worship in there, but not quite on the heavier side. Even when they get a little bit on the heavy side, it's not quite as heavy as Opeth. Um, but still have some nice crunchy riffs in there, some literally blasting uh, drums. Um, they have a lot of Mastodon kind of feel to them in parts. Very proggy, very sludgy in parts as well. Uh, very A lot of cosmic elements, a lot of space rocky kind of elements in there as well. Uh, the clean vocals are really anthem anthemic and kind of um, ethereal sounding, very clean and very angelic sounding. The lead vocals when he does the cleans really remind me of Ghost in a way. Uh, Tobias from Ghost, he has a kind of higher register, kind of really clean, kind of smooth kind of voice to him. Kind of reminds me of him a lot. And also on a couple tracks specifically, which I'll mention, uh, I get a lot of Alice in Chains vibes on this album, uh, surprisingly. But I'll get into that momentarily. So yeah, killer album, guys. Starting with the opener, Forbidden Sanctuary. Eight minutes, uh, song to open up the album. Uh, starts a little slow, kind of a little slow mel well, melodic guitar lead. And then some crunchy riffs and guitars kick in. The vocals kick in nice and smooth. Cut through it like butter. Uh, a lot of cool layers in this in this music. It's the perfect kind of album, similar to their last album, where you really it's really headphones album. You want to go in your room, lay in the dark, put a good set of he over the he your headphones on, close your eyes and just absorb the music. There's so many layers and so much stuff going on. It's very progressive, very sludgy, very beautiful, really well written songs, really composed really well, really beautiful clean vocals and then little punches of aggression here and there with some powering drums and um, some crunchy riffs followed by some guttural vocals. But the guttural vocals don't overstay their welcome. I'd say overall through the album, it's about 70-30, uh, 70% 70 of its clean vocals, I'd say. And uh, just kind of little, little punches of guttles here and there, just to kind of get a little bit of, little bit of pump. Uh, but yeah, the opening track is really killer. Kind of gives a op gives a good idea of what to expect through the album. And a uh, pretty good opener. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the next track here, Despoiled. A little bit shorter track, five minutes. Again, a little bit slow in the opening part of it, but then it gets into the crunchy riff. I found the majority of the songs had a similar kind of pattern to them. They'd have like a slower kind of melodic intro and then about a minute or so in, they'd really punch in with a hard hard uh, power riff or uh, in intense drums and then the vocals. Uh, but really good song as well. Uh, it, uh, is It Your God, uh, the next song is Seven Minutes. One of my favorite tracks on the album. A lot of good variety on this one, good heaviness in parts with what's really cool. Uh, guitar melodies and harmonies um, in other parts where it's a little bit slower and more kind of beautiful atmosphere. Really cool song, a lot of dimensions, a lot of layers. Um, Melt the Crown had a lot of, little bit of acoustic-y kind of part to it. Uh, a little bit softer at the beginning, a lot of really nice clean vocals on this one, kind of really spacey, kind of like um, atmospheric and kind of uh, somber sounding in a lot of parts. And then near the end, it kind of kicked in with a little bit more of aggressive beat and aggression into it. Really cool song. Uh, Cloak of the Vast in the Black, another pretty good song. Again, a good mix of heavy heavy and darkness, dark and light kind of thing, a good contrast. At this point, the song started to sound a little samey and a little bit long-winded uh, at times, but not in necessarily always a bad way. I loved what I was hearing. I found some of the songs, especially a little bit, the songs a little bit on the longer side to be a little, a little bit too long. But overall, it sounded amazing. Um, I thought the second half of the album was a little bit stronger overall. I think it was a little bit back heavy, uh, back ended heavy. Um, Celestial Tyrant number six. 
It was a really cool song. Had a really cool, heavy drum intro and outro on this one. Um, really pounding drums. Really, the guitars or the drums were a little bit higher in the mix. Uh, really sounded cool on this one. A little bit more of a heavier song as well. A little bit more guttural vocals midway through. Uh, Beyond Our Minds um, had a really cool um, acoustic intro to it. It kind of went on for a little bit and then it got heavy again. And again, that really kind of sludgy, dense sound kicked in a bit with the gutturals. And then kind of phased back into the cleans with some really good uh, guitar melodies and harmonies. Really beautiful playing on this album too. Really good stuff. Uh, the Torch, another more condensed song, four minutes long. Um, really good banger of a song, a little bit heavier on the song as well. Really enjoyed the song, one of my standouts for sure. Uh, Condensants, sorry. Yeah, Condensants was number nine. Uh, it's an uh, instrumental song. Really cool song. It had a really cool, like, kind of soft intro, almost synthy sounding, a lot of atmosphere, very spacey. And then closer to the end of the song, it really kind of punched hard. Really cool song. I really enjoyed the instrumental. It kind of broke it up a little bit, and uh, it was a really cool sounding song. I enjoyed it a lot. And the last song was a little bit longer, six and a half minutes. Really good song to close out the album. This one had a really heavy Alice in Chains vibe to it. The vocal delivery really reminded me of Alice in Chains, kind of a blend of even Lane Stanley and um, Jerry Cantrell. Um, if you listen to that song, you'll kind of, you'll kind of hear what I, what I mean, and kind of the overall vibe of the song too, and the pacing. Had a very cool Alice in Chains kind of vibe to it. Uh, overall, I love this fucking album. Um, it wasn't it's exactly what I was expecting. A killer album. And um, I've been so amazed by how good the quality of these albums have been this year that I almost want to put, a, a put out a video just kind of recapping the year. Because when I was looking over albums that came out this year, most years there's only two or three like standout albums that have that wow factor. But this year there's been like six or seven albums that have just blown my mind. And this has been one of them. Uh, so standard tracks overall, positives. Creates a good production, big production, sounds heavy, really good uh, instrumentation. The guys are really good players all around. Great drummer, great guitar player. Incredible guitar melodies. Some really cool solos mixed in here. Great drumming. The, the drumming really hits you hard. Um, some really cool guitar harmonies in here as well. Really cool stuff. Good blend of electric and acoustic guitar to give it some diversity. Um, the songs are, are really well written, very well composed songs. Remind me of Opeth, like genius level. A lot of layers to them, but perfect perfect transitions from heavy to light, etc. And uh, yeah, open top to bottom, just a really killer album. My only gripe or negative to the album would be the longer songs could be a little bit shortened, I think. I found the shorter songs in the second half of the album, like um, Celestial Tyrant, Beyond Our Minds, and the, Tor and the Torch, that were like four minutes, four minutes, and five, almost six minutes. I found those songs to hit a little bit harder. Uh, I found them to be more condensed and more concise. Uh, the longer songs I found were a little, bit, a little bit too long. Like the first song on the album, they could have shaved off about 40 seconds of the intro. And uh, yeah, some of the longer songs could have been a little bit more more edited, uh, but that's my gripe of the album. Instead of being 58 minutes, I think this would have been a better album around the 42, 43 minute mark. I think it would have been a lot better. But overall rating of this album, I give it a 9.5, a near perfect album. Um, my only gripe, like I said, is a little bit long and I wish they would have just kind of, kind of refined their writing, uh, songwriting a little bit and kind of shrunk some of the songs down a little bit. I'm not saying I don't like long songs. There's some songs I love that are 13, 14 minutes, some of my favorite songs of all time. But on this album, I think it would just been, it would have been a, a good idea just to, for the editing to, to condense a lot of those songs down. Overall, I think it would have been a better vibe and flow to the album. Uh, so that's my review of the album, guys. Um, I'm also going to try to review this weekend the new, um, Christ, uh, Time 2 by uh, Winter Sun. So stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to get that up in the next day or two as well. And let me know down below what you thought of the new Ancients album. I fucking loved it. Uh, definitely one of my top albums of the year. I would be very surprised if it didn't make my top 10, uh, or if not my top 5. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more great content. And keep it metal.